Well, I tell you, if I hit him like this every time, I don't think I need the automatic golf ball finder, and neither do you. Now, seeing that you have bought the automatic golf ball finder, you want to know how to use it. And you know, it's like any other piece of equipment. The more you use the automatic golf ball finder, the more fun you have with it, the better you understand it, the quicker you save strokes, time, and money. That's as simple as ABC. The automatic golf ball finder is designed so it will work for everybody, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, whether you're male or female, whether you're young or old. And it's absolutely safe to use. But it's like any other new instrument. We have to learn the instruction. There's a right way of doing it, a wrong way of doing it. And you know what? As long as you sit and listen to me for a few more moments, I will teach you very, very simply how to use the automatic golf ball finder. All you need to do is pull out the antenna. But before you do that, seeing that you're just taking it out of the box, I want you to make sure that the antenna swivels freely. Simply by lifting the antenna up like this, hold it down like that, and let it swing. And as you probably notice, it swung approximately 20, 25 times. It's still swinging. That means it's operating just perfectly. It's free of defects. Then all you need to do is pull the antenna. It's that simple. Then you hold it with your li little finger and your second finger right down in here, just like that, very, very lightly. You have to make sure that the hand is level and the antenna is pointed down by approximately five degrees. It's that simple. Simply put energy into it. How do we create energy? Well, we can talk to it, we can jump up and down. That's not really what I want you to do even. Just shuffle your feet a little bit. That will give you energy. Now watch this. We know that as soon as we come parallel to the ball, right now we did. It's telling me that the ball is to my left. And there it is. Why? Because the needle is pointed to that direction. So now I take one or two extra steps forward, and I do the same thing all over again. Again, shuffle my feet. Now it tells me, aha, the golf ball is right there. Why do I know it's there? The antenna is pointing right there. Do the same thing all over again. One more step, then turn to the left, shuffle your feet. Now it turns me again, tells me again to turn left. Again, I take that extra step, and I do the same procedure all over again until I've almost completed the complete circle, which I just did. I've just showed that the golf ball is in a 360 degree circle, about three feet in diameter, with a needle pointing directly to the golf ball. Okay, I know where I hit the golf ball. It's right in this bush here and amongst all them trees. Now, just about 30 or 40 feet in front, while I'm still walking along the fairway, I pull out the automatic golf ball finder, extend the antenna, hold it lightly, and shuffle my feet a little bit and walk towards the direction. As soon as I'm parallel, as, as I'm right now, to the golf ball area, it tells me to turn inside there. So now I'm walking inside. Now it tells me again that it tells me to turn to the right. Now I'm walking again. Again, it gives me that signal. The antenna will always point in the direction of the golf ball. Aha, uh -huh. now we have located the golf ball. We know that the golf ball is somewhere in this little bush area. Again, within that three to four foot circle. Well, let's take a look. That won't take very long. Thought it really got bedded inside here somewhere. Oh, there it is already, you see? It was hidden directly under, under the tree, under the leaves. Oh, Paul, you're back in the bush again, huh? Always amongst the trees, amazing. I tell you what, why don't I teach you how to use my automatic golf ball finder? We'll find balls anywhere. All you want to do, Paul, it's just hold it to the right-hand side of the body. Don't hold it in the middle. To the right-hand side of the body very lightly and then walk in the direction where you think your ball may be. And as soon as the needle swings, 
it, you want to walk then in that direction. So if the sw needle swings to the right, you turn right. If it swings to the left, you turn left. And that's very simple, until you locate your ball. Okay, let's give okay. it a try. Just hold it. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Okay, just keep on walking. Got to be in there somewhere. Just walk in there. I'm going to look over here in the meantime. Oh, there's sure a lot of leaves around here. Well, then walk towards it, and then uh, it will tell you very quickly where it is. There it is right there. Well, there you see. It works every time. As soon as it points, you notice how the needle was pointing directly towards the ball? Now, let me ask you, is it your ball or is it somebody else's? No, that's mine. Oh, you're lucky then. You just found yourself, uh, you saved yourself strokes and, uh, and it speeded up the game, didn't it? Found it very quickly. Sure did. Thanks, huh. John. Okay, well, let's keep on playing. Well, I know I've hit my ball into the water. So the same procedure applies. Hold the antenna five degrees down walk relatively briskly, keep on walking the water's edge, and I know as soon as I'm parallel to the ball, that's the direction that I have to go. Well, the needle just swung to the right, so I walk, and sure enough, there it is. Here's my little golf ball. Just before you start a golf game, take any golf ball, any color, touch the golf ball in the front, on the side, as long as you make contact. That will give it memory. Or you can also say it's now charged. Now, there are ways of discharging. For instance, if you accidentally dropped it on the floor, or on the ground, or on the grass, now it's totally discharged. It has no memory. As you probably can see, I'm trying to give it, draw the power, but nothing will happen because it's totally discharged. Now, in order to simply charge, take any golf ball of any color, touch it on the side, front, or back, anywhere. Then you will see, by just making slightly movements like this, it starts to pull. It's just that simple. Now, there is another way of discharging. By simply pointing the antenna seven seconds or eight, onto the ground, as you can probably see it by doing this again. Nothing will happen, okay? Simply repeat what I just said earlier, touching it anywhere. Now it, of course, it starts pulling, and it pulls quite nicely just about anywhere. And it's that simple. But I'd like to recap a few important points. Number one, just make sure that the antenna is extended fully. Hold lightly in your hands with your hands with, and you, with your fingers properly attached to the right or left hand side of the body. Make sure that you do not hold in the center of your body. Always to the outside right or the outside left. Depends on whether you're left-handed or right-handed energy will come from you, has to come from you, because there are no batteries in here whatsoever. Have some fun and find a lot of golf balls. <laughs>